Hi everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I hope everybody's had a good couple of weeks. Uh, we had Thanksgiving here, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates. And um, I finally finished up the 75 millimeter Taiko Miniature Norse Warrior. This was actually a very, very fun <coughs> project to paint. Um, it was very, very simple to put together. Uh, the casting was very well done. And it was just a real joy to paint. Um, it took me a little bit to get started with it. Uh, more so because I just spent some time trying to research um, really kind of what the dye colors were like for um, the time period what would be available what they would wear things like that um, I tried to stay away from the box art itself color wise although I think I kinda came a little bit close to what was on that um, but I'm very very happy with this if um, you guys decide that you want to do this then you know definitely uh, go for it because it was a, a pleasure to paint um, I will uh, stop the spinning on this and I'll show you the base and everything else that I did with this and do a little I also put some uh, stills of the figure up so you can get to see a little bit more of the detail things like that but um, again figure was a lot of fun and um, yeah just a real quick update just to show you that this is finished and uh, I hope you like it um, I uh, with the holiday last week um, I did not get a whole lot of painting done uh, just you know visiting with family on the holiday and then it's kind of busy doing other things and you know just life getting in the way of the hobby a little bit hopefully some of that will have calmed down a little bit and get back to actually painting so uh, I'll just bring this up I'm gonna stop the uh, stop the spinning here so I can actually show you guys some of the finer details on this Let me get the light over here a little bit better so got my little pointy stick um, I don't know if you remember but on the very first video I talked about how the shield was mounted to the back of the figure this is the only thing that kind of uh, perplexed me a little bit usually if you have something that's going to be you know mounted on a figure right usually there's some kind of groove and everything but on this particular one there isn't and on the back of the shield there's essentially what amounts to the handle for the figure to hold it now, obviously that's not a option with the way it's designed so it has to go on its back and the straps weren't complete all the way around so you couldn't just leave it off but um, ended up just kind of lining this up the way I thought it should be and then using some five minute epoxy uh, epoxied this on and uh, that seemed to work Also, um, the bag itself that's sitting over here, I did with glazes. And then I ended up, uh, the last video I was talking about um, what uh, kind of fruit or food uh, these people would have had to eat or available to eat. And uh, after asking a few people and some comments that were left, apparently apples were a thing. So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up painting it like an apple. 
Um, other than that, and I'll show you the base real quick. So this is the base. I ended up painting the tree. Uh, I did a, a series of washes on it first. Some brown, a little bit of black. And then um, I highlighted using a dry brush method to pick out the ridges using a little bit of a lighter greenish brown color and then I went back and I picked out this with white and then the base itself so using my standard flock that I've made myself which is a blend of uh, I don't know three or four different flocking types and colors and things like that that I use on pretty much all of my basing and everything else and then I've added some tufts just to give it a little bit more of a 3D effect I did paint some of the rocks that were in there but then I ended up covering them up a little bit but they're still there anyway so that's the figure and I just thought I'd show them off to you well, I hope everybody's having a great day and a wonderful week I'm gonna get back to doing some actual uh, figure painting I've got my 28 millimeter Continental troops to put on there from Perry, so I will get those a uh, little bit more progress going on those, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Um, I hope everybody's having a great week. Please like, comment, share the video if you're interested. Um, I have been trying to uh, keep up with everybody else's videos. Um, I haven't commented as much as I normally do because I've been watching them sometimes at work and on my breaks or on my TV and I don't have a chance to actually do the comments and uh, if I'm watching them from work I'm usually watching them on my phone and it's just too difficult to try to make a comment that way but I am watching everybody I do enjoy your videos I enjoy everybody's projects and um, yeah, I just hope everybody's having a great time and we're rolling into the holiday seasons and I just hope everybody stays safe and uh, enjoys their time with their family and I'll see you probably in another week. I'm going to try to get some more painting done so I have something better to show you, a little bit more to show you. Okay, till then, everybody have a wonderful day. Bye.